did we end up here? To understand, we must go back to the place where this story began. From the dawn of time, the universe has existed in a constant balance, a harmony of sorts, between light and darkness, good and evil, two forces locked in an endless motion. But this equilibrium is fragile. Any imbalance, no matter how small, can lead to utter chaos. Fated to meet, these extraordinary powers fell to Earth, where they would, one day, put the planet to the ultimate test. One struck the surface, where it grew within a tree for millions of years. The other plunged far into the ocean, settling in the deepest abyss. As time passed, Civilizations began to sense the existence of these magic forces. Tempted by their great power, some embraced them for goodness and honor, while others chose to harness them for wickedness and strength, forever altering the destiny of the universe. One day, deep in the jungle, a mysterious creature possessing the forces of light emerged. Mr. Wobble. As his curiosity grew, so did his desire to venture out into the world. Soon, he found himself in a city, not knowing an epic journey was about to unfold. He observed all the workings of modern civilization and soon realized that, unbeknownst to them, people were being controlled and deceived by the government they trusted. Listening to his inner light, he started to lift the veil, awakening them to what they had become. Seeds of freedom started to grow, and slowly, the populations began to question the power in place. That power, entrenched for many generations, was wielded by the almighty V family and their global monopoly, the Vine Corporation. Feeling threatened and determined to stay in control, radical measures were taken. Their leader, Mr. V, had no other choice but to play his secret card. Vine Corp has been exploiting this planet for decades, polluting its air and poisoning its soil. Many years ago, in one of their old oceanic mine sites, a mysterious discovery was made. A strange glowing crystal made of an element they had never encountered before. This crystal contained unique and terrible powers, destructive powers. Even they had been too scared to use it. But now, with their back against the wall, they built a mechanical steel shell to house it and try to harness its power. A chip implanted into the robot's bones would allow them to control it and ensure its obedience. The resulting behemoth showed an extraordinary display of potency and strength, far exceeding every expectation. And when this marvel was ready, Mr. V deployed the one he named Dark Wobble. V's mission was to destroy Mr. Wobble and pull the curtain back over the eyes of the people. With a focused purpose, he pursued his enemy with a reckless disregard for the lives and safety of the population, exposing his real face to the world. 
With Mr. Wobble's victory, Vinecorp's reign would finally come to an end. Peace swept away the dust and ushered in a brighter future for all the inhabitants of this planet. Or so they thought. Despite this loss, Dark Wobble did not go unnoticed. Dirty Girl, a servant of the forgotten ancient Dark Forces, saw him battered and broken, realizing his power just might serve a greater purpose. She took advantage of the chaos surrounding the aftermath and recovered the wreckage, quickly disconnecting Vine's control chip located inside. Determined to take this opportunity to serve the dark energy she worships, she went to work and reassembled the robot shell. Using all her knowledge, she invoked the forces of evil and breathed life back into the crystal. And so, Dark Wobble was reborn, more powerful than ever. Now unchained, he began to sense a strong signal calling to him, a malevolent one. Unable to resist its pull, he was drawn to its source. Once he arrived, he was put to the test and thrust into trial by combat. Defeating the demons, one after another, he absorbed their powers and proved his worthiness. Emerging victorious, he was now crowned King Dark Wobble. Now possessing unprecedented powers, his realm started to grow, transforming the environment and turning every life form he encountered into his minions. For the first time in the history of this planet, balance had shifted. Darkness descended, and the forces of good were scattered. It appeared as though nothing could stop the spread of evil. Clueless as to what happened, Mr. Wobble returned to the forest to find the remains of what he once called home. Feeling helpless, he was unable to reverse the damage that Dark Wobble had inflicted on the world. In his despair, he sat, feeling lost. When suddenly, strange yet beautiful spores of light began to dance around him. And as Mr. Wobble watched in wonder, a cosmic life form appeared, and its magic began to break the curse that had befallen the forest. After gaining its trust and proving that his intentions were pure, it was agreed that his training would begin immediately. There was no time to waste. With every moment, a new hope started to grow. His desire to defeat the darkness that had consumed the world became his only focus. Mr. Wobble set forth in the hope to find hidden survivors to join him in this most noble fight. And he found other warriors of the light descendants of ancient civilizations that had fought the darkness before. They stood in awe of his ability to control the forces of the light. For they saw in him a strong ally, the best and maybe only chance to finally vanquish the darkness. They decided to guide him and teach him new abilities even mastering control of the elements. But beyond the training, and perhaps more importantly, he bonded with the people around him. He began to understand friendship and love. It all gave him a renewed purpose that there was still a chance, no matter how challenging, 
that the planet could be saved from its dark fate. Determined to fight for light and love, the time had come. Mr. Wobble launched a counterattack, powered by an ultimate weapon coming from the crust of time. And for the first time, the light shined through King Dark Wobble's realm. that the only hope to restore the balance is unity.